This episode of today's iconic moment in New York sports history is presented by Tri-State Cadillac Dealers. July 28, 1997, after six seasons with the New York Rangers, forward Mark Messier signs a three-year contract with the Vancouver Canucks. Three years after Messier scored the game-winning goal against the Canucks in Game 7 of the 1994 Stanley Cup Final, Vancouver made a huge push to sign him. With New York, Messier led the team to two first-place regular season finishes and a Stanley Cup championship. But the Rangers didn't seem to think that he was worth $20 million for the next three years, even though he said he would have signed a one-year $6 million deal. Now, Rangers general manager Neil Smith was satisfied with having Wayne Gretzky and Pat LaFontaine as the team's top centermen, so New York let Messier go. But it didn't really work out for him out there. In his first season, he recorded 60 points, but with the Rangers the season prior, he had 84 points. He struggled with injuries for the next two seasons and finished with just 48 and 54 points. The Canucks failed to make the playoffs in any of his three seasons, and he then became a free agent. New York's general manager, Glenn Sather, began negotiating a return for Messier, and he was back on Madison Square Garden ice starting with the 2000-2001 season. On September 12, 2005, he officially retired from the NHL, and the Rangers retired his number 11 back in January of 2006.